flags at half mast there uh, because of the death of Prince Philip at the age of 99 um, a couple of days ago. Uh, welcome to uh, Embridge Lifeboat Station where the tide uh, turned about three quarters of an hour ago and uh, it's a beautiful morning and uh, as I said the tide's out we've got the pink kind of in the sky off to the east there uh, there's another photographer down on the beach uh, I guess looking thinking about where to set up for his morning shot uh, but it's a really really nice morning uh, hopefully uh, I was hoping that the clouds might light, light up, but they haven't really. Uh, well, I guess we've got just less than 15 minutes before sunrise. But uh, let, let's have a look. So looking down the beach there, there's that photographer thinking that that's a good place. I might head in the other direction uh, and uh, we'll see, see how it develops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some shots of the lifeboat station as the sun rises. And then I think I'm going to walk around onto uh, around Bembridge Ledge. Actually, the clouds are beginning to be illuminated in pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll just show you. There, look. Off to the east, or just a little bit north of the east. Uh, we've got the sun's rays beginning to strike these clouds. Uh, it's a very, quite a windy morning and uh, oh look at the pinks off the sand there I'm going to stay high I think and then I'll, I'll just see how the morning develops As I said, the uh, flags at half mast because of the Duke of Edinburgh's death. You've got the Royal Nas National Lifeboat Institution one there, and then just a little bit further down, you've got the Union Jack. And you've got like just over Portsmouth, it's beginning to go a bit pinky. I guess we've got about 10 minutes now before sunrise. Uh, what a fantastic scene! So, I'm going to get the cannon out and I'm going to try my best to uh, do this. Uh, do this justice what a beautiful morning but again April the 11th or something like that uh, I might not have got the date absolutely spot on there one day seems to merge into the other but um, it is cold still I mean it, it, warning of ice when I was driving across here on my dashboard uh, <laughs> I haven't seen any ice but gee it is cold and that wind is biting so I'll get the camera out and try and capture the sunrise. So I've retreated into the car, uh, bitterly cold, three degrees it says, it's the wind that's doing it though, it's quite a stiff breeze and um, just holding on to anything like I was, uh, the camera for any length of time uh, causes uh, my hands to get freezing, but I've, I've come inside, I've had my cup of coffee, uh, 
Like that. Very nice. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put my gloves on and just head out. So I'm just going to walk around the coast uh, while the tide is out, while we've got glorious um, golden hour sunshine and take a few snaps of the coast and then I'm going to retreat back into this car and drive home and have some toast and another, another warm drink, a cup of tea probably. Okay, so I've made it to the beach and uh, you can see the tide is still quite a long way out. It is coming in, but here we are, Benbridge Ledge, an extensive area really of, uh, I guess you'd call it wave cut platform, um, jutting out to sea and I guess uh, it's caused a problem to many a, a vessel over the years. Uh, so uh, here we are. So you've got the sand here, uh, leading up to these really sort of uh, <laughs> not particularly impressive looking cliffs that don't appear to offer much in the way of protection. You've got a little bit of kind of rock in front of the, uh, the shingle bit there, which I, I guess does protect a little bit against the waves uh, when the tide is in. And then you've got this ledge. So uh, it's really quite an interesting spot. Uh, here as uh, right on the tip the eastern tip of the Isle of Wight and then what happens is when you go around the corner here uh, instead of kind of heading I guess roughly south you start to head uh, west and eventually kind of uh, bump into Culver Cliff if you go far enough as I did the other week when I, I walked around the coast uh, but it's a lovely lovely morning uh, but absolutely bit. Here, there's Culver Cliff in the distance. And uh, so all of a sudden, Kind of heading more more sort of in a westerly direction so right on the, this is right on the eastern tip of the isle of wight and there you can see culver cliff and then in the very distance you can see the cliffs of luckham uh, behind that so uh and here's more of Bembridge ledge uh and uh what a glorious morning it is apart from the temperature oh and here's the sun coming back out so a bit more golden houry so uh, let's take a few pictures and then I think I'm going to head back. So it sounds like a, a good time to say thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next one.